being joined now by the head winning coach, Tom Giovato of the Terriers, coach another 3 nothing victory. Four shutouts in a row for Chris Antonino. The offense starting to click it in. Alex Salaka on a two game goal scoring streak. Team just playing pretty good right now, eh? Yeah, we're hot right now. Uh, feels good. Back four doing a great job. Chris, again, another shutout. And uh, he made a couple key saves for us. So, which is you keep throwing up zeros. Talk to us about this Bryan team. First time anyone's seen them. They're going to be a Northeast Conference member in 2012. You know, it's, it's going to be a transition period for them going from Division 2 to Division 1. But you see something out of this team? Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, it's a tough transition. Like you said, Division 3, Division 1 is a big jump. But, uh, you know, he's got them playing, playing pretty good. They're sitting in and they're playing hard, working hard every day. It's, it's tough. It's tough when you're losing games to come up and, uh, you know, play, it, play a game. It's a tough thing to do, but he's doing a good job over there. All right, let's talk to our fans out there about really what this day was all about, honoring the 1968 team, the 40th anniversary, and uh, the head coach, Carlo Traumatosi. Uh, what did it mean to you today? Um, it's great. It just shows you how what a great tradition we, ha we have here at St. Francis. Pouring rain this morning, have all kinds of guys here playing, having a good time, and uh, you know, Carlo's class. It's great to have him around. It brings a lot of people around, and it's great support. Going into the next game against Manhattan, that's a, a MAC team. Uh, when you played, you were a MAC player. Uh, Manhattan has, is a pretty good ball club coming up from Riverdale. What do you see for them next Saturday? Uh, Manhattan's always tough. They play hard. Um, they're going to be fit. So we just have to play our game, and hopefully we'll come out on top. After that, you got the first two conference games against probably the best two teams in Connecticut, Quinnipiac on the Sunday and before that obviously the Central Connecticut team that made it to the Sweet 16. Obviously you got to start thinking about that game pretty soon, maybe even tonight or Monday um, before, before that. Obviously you got to worry about Manhattan. What do you think about with this uh, Central Connecticut and Quinnipiac teams? You know, Central and Quinnipiac are great. They have a great record this year again and uh, it's be two of our toughest games. Glad we have them at home and you know, but if we keep playing the way we're playing, it's going to be a good game. Any final comments about this 3-0 victory? Obviously, you got to be patting your goalie on the back tonight. Defense playing well again. Um, you know, it's good to get Sammy back. He's been injured for a while, so, you know, he's getting there. And, again, I don't know what to say about Alex. It's just every, every day he's getting better and better, and, you know, great goal he scored today. All right, that'll do it here from Aviator. Another 3-0 St. Francis victory this time over at Bryant. Our next home game will be next Saturday at 7 o'clock as the Terriers take on the Manhattan College Jaspers. For the Terrier Sports Network, I'm Nick Guerrero.